to chain up two or three, whatever you use with double crochet. And we're going to make a corner here. Three double crochets. Chain two. Three double crochets. And that's the first corner of round two. We're going to chain one here, make another corner in the next chain two space. Corner being three double crochets, chain two, three double crochets. So that's, this is the new end for round two. Now we're going to chain one. I'm going to skip this shell and in the chain one space from the previous, we're going to work a shell. This is our side, first side for chain for round two. Skip this shell and into this chain one space, we're going to work a shell. Now we're going to chain one, skip this shell here, and in the next chain one space work another shell. Chain one. Now we're back to our corners. So we're going to work a corner here in this chain two space, chain one, and make another corner here. So we're going to have chain ones all along the side, and in the corners we'll have chain twos. So we're going to do three double crochets. Chain two. Three double crochets. Chain one, three double crochets. Chain two, three double crochets. in the same spot. And then we're going to chain one. So we're going to start the next side. So this is what we have so far. And you can change colors on each round if you want to. So we're going to now put shells in each one of these chain one spaces. So we're going to shell here. Chain one, shell here. Chain one, shell in this chain one space. Then we're going to chain one again. We're going to join with a slip stitch in the top of the beginning chain. Now we're going to slip stitch over to the corner. Slip stitch in the two double crochets and in the corner space. And we're going to chain two or chain three, whatever it takes for your you to get up to height. We're going to make a corner here. Two more double crochets, chain two, and three more double crochets. Then we're going to notice something different. We're going to chain one here, just like we did before, but now we have a chain one space already. Here. So we're going to make a shell here. This is going to be our short side. And 
Then we're going to chain one and make another corner. Three double crochets, chain three, three double crochets. Chain one. Now along this side, everywhere, everywhere we have a chain one space, we're going to make a shell and we're going to separate them again by chain ones. So we already chained one. We're going to do a shell in this chain one space. Chain one and a shell in the next chain one space. chain one and a shell in the next chain one space. Chain one and a shell in the next chain one space. Chain one. Now we're back to our corner, our short corner. We're going to make a corner in the chain two space. That will be a shell. Chain two, shell in the same space, in that chain two space. Chain one. Now here's our other short side. We have a chain one here, so we're going to make a shell in that chain one space. And we're going to chain one again, and we'll make a corner in our next chain two space. Three double crochets, chain two, three double crochets. chain one. Now we are on our last side of this round and we're going to work shells in each of the chain one spaces to complete that side. So we're working three double crochets here, chain one. In the next chain one space work three double crochets. In the next chain one space, work three double crochets. Between each shell, you're going to put a chain one stitch. Now we're at our last shell. We're going to chain one, join with a slip stitch to the top of that beginning chain. And if you want to do more rows, then you just continue likewise. You'll chain one and then you will go make a corner here in this chain two space, in this chain two space. In every chain one space, you make a shell and you keep going round and round. That's one way of making a rectangle granny.